This is a very exciting moment for me because uh, I'm into 3D printing and there's one here working. Let's check this out. Look. If you look in there, you can see there's the hot printer head. That's melting this tube of, which contains some filament, which is, you know, a plastic wire, effectively. That's coming down into this little heater here, which is a bit like the head of a soldering iron. And that is melting these tiny lines to create something. And you can see it's being created there. You can see there's a, a motor assembly that moves the head backwards and forwards. Very, very much like the, the golf ball and old typewriter or the, the printing head and old dot matrix printer. It's that similar kind of methodology. With me is uh, Sylvain Cromo, uh, who is the founder of the iMaker store. So Sylvain, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the kind of work you're doing here? Yes, we are very pleased to uh, help people engage with their 3D printing. So we offer them an option to see the printers for themselves, to really touch the object and feel what that is for real, not just like looking in video on YouTube and things. So we've got kind of all the brands available like uh, for the printers, for the filaments. Uh, we are happy to have a couple of designers from the worldwide scene sending us objects that you can see in the store and uh, uh, some of them you can even buy them if you like and some others are just for display um, and we have uh, training workshops for you to uh, kind of get into it and see that wow it's simple I can do that for myself and then the next step is buy a machine um, and uh, it's very much about uh, offering the one and only, I believe, uh, option, at least in London and pretty much worldwide, to uh, have that many uh, printers, that many opportunities to see uh, 3D printing for real. Of course, here at iMaker, there is also um, their, their sort of sister company, uh, My Mini Factory, which is really a, 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 an interesting model because it's free. It's a, a free service you, you can download. 3D objects, and you know that they will print. So this is this is kind of it's, it's handy. You, your wallpaper sort of explains the yeah, process. That is where this is where we give the trainings and workshops. So we try to use the walls to explain the things. So this is the whole process where you design something from any of these software, and obviously much more, uh, and then you export your model to a STL file. And from there, you use some special software to double check and control the validity before you do printing. Then you launch that SEL file after correction into the printer, and the printer would print it. Once you've done that with any of these material and more, then you have the finishing, which is the, something uh, you, you don't want to, to disregard. And uh, you can uh, brush it, paint it manually, or sand it, or acetone it to get it glossy, etc. So that, that is pretty much describing the whole process. And what my mini factory does, it gives you an option to kind of bypass the whole beginning here and you just go download a file for yourself and that file has been checked and double checked and printed and printed again and you see pictures on the website showing that it's not just a drawing, it's a result that you can print and, and you see the final thing. And then you just download that file and go launch it into the printer and you still have to finish it yourself because uh, uh, that's not something that we can do for you in the distance. Great. Okay. So um, there's a huge amount of potential. What's interesting is you have a new technology, which is challenging traditional ways of working. And then here you have a new kind of business model for how these things get out there. Um, so, so really the innovation space around 3D printing it's not just about technology, is it? It's actually about changing the way we think. It's, yeah, it's the very thing. Uh, the, today, the way people uh, consider their need, if ever you need something, the only thing is, I need to go buy one. Um, where is that shop where I can go buy that thing? And by the way, if I can't find it in that store, my only option is go to the next store and try to find it. And that is, in my opinion, what is going to change in the future. We are more going to, I need that, I design it, or I download it, or I mix one of my things with something else. And um, I, I find on a social network like Facebook and things, uh, an experience that somebody done and, and it's not quite what I needed but that adapted to this and that gets my thing. So we are much more going into the designer's time, 
that we have kind of not so much seen in the last decade. And in my opinion, the next future is designers period. I mean, period, the, 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 the big time for designers is coming. There you go. So uh, the big time for designers is coming. I'm just thinking poor old Adam Smith, right? He's, he's rolling in the grave right now because the, the basic laws of economics are being rewritten or perhaps reprinted. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I'd like to say thank you very much to Sylvain uh, Promont and um, check out mymanufactory.com, check out imaker.com. But if you really want the real deal, you've got to come here and visit the store. Thank you. 79 Clerkenwell Road, Farrington. <laughs> <laughs>